Hey guys, your girl is back for another thought for the day. I am super excited to be able to do this series called Oil from the Last Dance. So when I sat down to watch The Last Dance, I watched it with inquisitory ears and eyes to see what and who Michael Jordan was. Like growing up, I was not a big Michael Jordan fan. Um, what I did take from him was that he was a great player. I love Space Jam. Um, and I say that with humor, but I love Space Jam and I knew that he was a great player, but the investment in him was not there. But this series allowed for me as an adult to truly appreciate all of why he was super big in the 90s and all of what he is invested into his field and also as an adult who is looking and trying to shape herself and move forward in her field and be great and give all that she can give this was a great reflective piece so i wanted to be able to take because as i was watching it i was hearing little nuggets from god like you know that ties back to my word and so I want to be able to take the nuggets that Jordan dropped and I want to be able to tie them back to the word because I want you to be able to see that God is one present in everything that we do and that there is the ability to be in a space and to watch something and to still hear God speak. And so I'm excited about this series. I'm excited that you're tuned in and I pray that this will push you as you move forward on your personal journey, that this will encourage you, that this will help to prune away some bad things, but also drop some good things in you so that you can be encouraged for where you're going. So the first nugget, the first thing that we're going to look at is mentality. So throughout the whole series for the 10, the 10 episodes of the series, the one nugget that was paramount in every, every, every episode was mentality. So mentality is really, really important because it's our mental. Like we're not doing, we're not being, we're not anything without our mentality, without how we think, without who we are, with without all of those things that are happening inside of our mind. Our mind guides us and focuses us and pushes us wherever we want and wherever we need to go. And so mentality is so significant. You have Joyce Myers who wrote Battlefield of the Mind. You have mindfulness becoming something that is extremely important and extremely focused in this season. You have people giving into yoga and into meditation. You have the word telling us to meditate on it day and night. Our mind is important. So Colossians 3 and 2, because you know I always go to the word. I'm not going to give you anything that's not grounded in God's word. So Colossians 3 and 2 says, um, says, set your mind on things above. Set your mind on things above and not on earthly things, right? So in this season, we want to be really mindful about that, right? Like we want to know that our mentality is focused on something that is above, that's focused on something that's bigger. And that's what we saw in Michael Jordan. We saw him focus his mentality on something that was much bigger than him, that was much broader than him. Um, on the first, I think it was like the first episode, it talked about how when they talked about him coming into basketball and how he got into basketball, he wasn't a basketball player. And it might not have been the first episode, but in one of the episodes, they talk about how he wasn't a basketball player. That that's not how he started. There was no real interest in that. That it came out of like sibling rivalry and the desire and the want to be present in his father. And like it was like this thing of push against his brother to be better. And so his mentality was like, no, I want to be seen. I want to be, you know, I want to be important. I want to have this relationship with my dad. And so I'm going to do that through basketball. So his mentality was focused on, I'm going to do this to get to this, right? And there were two quotes that stuck out for me in the series. And it was the downfall of a lot of other players is they think about failure. 
Michael didn't allow what he couldn't control to get inside of his head. Why would I think about a shot I haven't taken yet? Right? So like that was his mentality. That was his thought process. He wasn't focused on failure. He wasn't focused on all those things. He was focused on winning. Then the other quote that stuck out for me, it was, it was great to be admired. This was Michael Jordan saying this. But every time I would get by myself, I think about the ultimate goal, holding up the championship trophy, and I'm going to get, and I'm going to give every time, every little bit to get it. So his focus, his mentality was on winning, was on achievement, was on doing and gaining something. So in this season, where is your mentality? Like, what's your focus? Where is your brain at? Are you focusing on something bigger? What is that thing that is bigger? And I want to start off with that mentality. What's your thought? Where's your brain? Where's your mind? What's your, what is, where's your mind at? Because you can't do anything else unless you know where your mind is at, right? So if you go into the hospital and let's say you are paralyzed or something, an injury happens to you and your feet is not moving, they're going to tell you, think, you know, tell you to think in your mind to move your foot. Your foot is never going to move if your mind is not letting it, if your mind is not telling it to. So that's the first oil. That's the first nugget. That's the first thing that we get from the last dance. You want to you want to achieve you you want to do great things you want to be able to push forward where is your mind so today spend some time and ask yourself where's your mind where's your mind where's your mind where's your mind and really just consider those things um you should tune in and check out our the blog for oil um cipher I'm going to post up some things about mindfulness. I'm going to fo- post up some things about mentality. But let's first focus. Let's first ask ourselves, where is our mind? We want to achieve. We want to be married. We want our kids to do great. We want to be able to go forward in our career. But where is your mind? Is your mind on watching television or is your mind focused on reading that book? that's gonna teach you the information that you need to achieve? Um, Is your mind on being by yourself and you really wanna be with somebody else? Is your mind on, I'm ready for these kids to get out of my house, rather than how can I create an environment where we can be loving and kind and care to each other and create lasting memories? Where is your mind? So, on today, think about that. Where's your mind?